Turning now to tomorrow's primary in Illinois, more than 98,000 ballots have been cast in person or by mail so far in Chicago. That's roughly 6% of all registered voters in the city, and we are now just under 12 hours until the polls open in Illinois. For Republicans running for governor, the pressure is on to get those last-minute votes. Darren Bailey, seen as the front runner, spent the day touring across the state. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is in Effingham, where Bailey will be watching the results come in. Tim? Marie and Jim, Senator Bailey will host an election night watch party here at the Thelma, Thelma Keller Convention Center. But first, he is wrapping up a tour of the state. One of the final stops, Springfield, where he made a stop today at the Abraham Lincoln Capitol Airport. Bailey told a crowd there that their own party, the Republican Party, has failed them, and he wants to change that. He said they didn't do enough to fight taxes. After that speech, he told me he wants to cut state sales tax for gas purchases in half. We also asked him about abortion access, abortion access in Illinois. And I saw after Roe v. Wade was overturned on Friday, you released a statement saying it's a welcome decision. Legislatures in other states right now are considering measures to ban or restrict abortion access. If you're elected, would you move to ban or restrict abortion access in Illinois? Well, it's a welcome move because that right belongs to the states, number one. And number two, I think we both know that, uh, you know, the current makeup of the legislators not going to allow that to happen. So I think we do something different. We, uh, we get rid of taxpayer-funded abortion. We return parental notification. And then we work with churches, civic groups, and religious organizations uh, to work to make sure that abortion here in Illinois becomes unnecessary. Now, we also asked him to clarify his views on abortion. He told me he supports abortion access if the mother's life is in danger, but not in cases of rape or incest. But again, when we asked him if he'd restrict access in Illinois, he said the legislature won't allow that. That election night watch party will start up here at 6 tomorrow. We will be here with the latest updates on the primaries. In Effingham, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Tim, thank you for that report.